If you're looking for info on DJ equipment, PA equipment, some of the very latest high-tech gear, as well as some great tried and tested budget equipment. Also, there's some info on cables, the odd software advice, headphones, DJ controllers, projectors and other visuals, studio monitors, the odd turntable, microphones, lighting. Please do like and subscribe and look at the uploads on my channel as there just might be something of interest just for you. I've often heard a lot of people say that their PA has got crystal clear sound quality. I've always smirked and the eyes look skywards and the eyes start rolling back. A lot of these PAs I have or I have demoed. The sound quality of those PAs is good, don't get me wrong, but crystal clear, especially crystal. No, I think clear. I know it can just be taken as a figure of speech and not literally. A speaker needs to really impress me to earn those stripes. And I know that they are not crystal clear quality. It might be what someone defines as crystal clear quality, but until you hear crystal clear quality, maybe use the word that I use, which is, it sounds clean. This is super clean. It is clear. This speaker amazed me. Sometimes you may listen to a speaker and you get that goosebump sensation where you can actually hear music to your ears and you say, wow, clean with projection that you can only imagine. I've been so busy with weddings. I'm sure all of you DJs out there know that the weddings have gone nuts. Not really had much time to create uploads. Things where income is involved take precedence. I'm sure you'll understand that. Here I've got one of my NX Level 24s. I've got two of these. I hope to pair them up with something like the RCF8008 because these need something like that. I know I'm going against what I've always recommended and I've always preached. You should be able to carry every single piece of your equipment, but I think <laughs> When you're providing audio for something like a little festival where you've got live sound, the festival money is a lot more than the wedding money. Therefore, you'll have that little extra to pay for an assistant. Might be a good idea to hire two double eighteens. That would make my profits look even better. You can obviously use something smaller. Just cut back on the gain of the 24s. Well, I'm just going to go through the differences between the NXL24A and this, the new Mark II. This has maintained a 100 degrees by 30 degrees coverage. This now has a square badge that's dark. The older badge was round. I think RCF was written in blue maybe, but it was a silver badge. This more discreet and welcome. This new model still has the rigging points and locators to attach two of these together and to fly them. I don't know if you know what the Mark I looked like or the original, but it never had the wraparound grille that you see on this. Still maintains the two pole mounts, one at the top and one at the bottom. Still has the four six inch drivers, and now it has a slightly larger high frequency driver. I'm sure it's still ported some way down past the center from the top, top meaning where the high frequency driver is. Although you can have this in the horizontal position. If you look at the older model, you notice that it has rubber feet. You can lay it down and it's supported with the rubber feet. This does not have the rubber feet anymore. This has a more powerful amplifier. Handles are slightly different. The same rubbery kind of feel that you have on the NX, especially the NX745A. I noticed that with this PA, when you carry it in one hand from just from one of the handles, it sits very horizontal. The other one was off balance. Maybe the weight of the drivers or the positioning of the handle, the handle was slightly off center. So when you picked it up with one handle, it would swing about and be a bit awkward to carry. I think this speaker maintains the same wedge shape. I do believe the cabinet is still Baltic birch and the body 
is solid and overall build quality here it is no nonsense even the grill there's no flex in that grill i must find out if the dimensions are the same i'm not too sure but this weighs around 24 kilos on the back there is the absence of the quarter inch input and the mic line switch and now it has one input as rcf put it the good one or is it the one that sounds good and now it has three presets linear two speakers and high pass and also the signal and limit light talking of high pass i think this speaker actually goes down a little lower than the original nx24 i think that went down to 65 hertz this one goes down to 60 hertz i got two of these for bigger things that i was supposed to be doing prior to covid mini festivals where there'd be bands live bands playing obviously that didn't materialize now that's back on track so i need something a lot heavier than any column or 18s and 12s or 15s could provide i didn't fancy the 44s too big too expensive something heavier to carry something bigger to store keep the cost down but still provide exactly what i need they're hardly noticeable something like the more bulkier 44 won't be as discreet these are serious and when i heard them here's my money show me the exit so i can get these home i honestly can't think of a word to describe the experience sheer power sheer clarity sheer smoothness these will wow you these were not my first choice my first choice was the ig4t's by db technologies i was hanging on i may have bought the 24s the originals were out i think 2014 or 2016 quite a while ago i was waiting for something to come out hoping that uh, db technologies would bring out fours that were improved but we're in 2022 now and nothing's happened with db technologies and ig4t's i was looking at going that way because they were lighter just as good but i think these i'm happy i got these now once i knew the mark ii's came out signed and sealed had to get these my argument against the CLA 406.2 I think the 406.2 is around two to three years old now these are newer more portable lighter slimmer and it's costing me a few hundred less they are all great options somebody's always going to have an argument for one one's got bigger drivers the brand the price this manufacturer does this that manufacturer does that all the blah 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 at the end of the day it's down to your personal choice i've played some joni mitchell and some jill scott through these when you hear the vocals these speakers sound beautiful the vocals the instruments the pads honestly listening to vocals through these you would believe that the vocalist has got a microphone that is connected directly to the speaker and they are there live in person singing the vocals you don't hear vocals like this this pulls them out as well as everything else and you listen to it in awe sound clean clear extremely clear with a softness and delicacy so silky smooth and when you crank these up oh dear they punch through and they just keep on punching with severe projection and accuracy i just wonder how loud these things can go what these can do to your instruments my god you can just see so much through hearing the speakers unbelievable it's like a fourth fifth dimension the layers are peeled back it's what you don't normally hear so revealing these speakers are magnificent they offer power and clarity not an ounce of harshness i'm not saying they're the best but they are pretty damn impressive
It's just like this speaker performs with a smile on its face, saying to me, yes, I am that good. These speakers are fine when it comes to playback music, but I think live music is where these speakers would really show you what they're about. I've not listened to the CLA 406.2, but let's just say it's better. It's gonna cost me around 600 extra to purchase two. They're gonna be bigger units, heavier units. There could just be speakers that are a little more expensive than the CLAs, that are even better. So where do you stop? You need to find a cutoff point when you're making a purchase. These are <laughs> my cutoff point. I do not need better. Over the moon with these. When you're in front of these and you can hear music coming through them, it just, it doesn't give up. It doesn't want to break up. It doesn't want to distort. Just keeps on hitting you and you're thinking, leave me alone. These speakers have got clout with tons of wallop. I don't know how far you need to be to not get punched in the face by these. They sound too good. Speakers like these should have four festivals written on them or four concerts written on them. Not just two speakers, but I mean, this would be part of that kind of installation. I know there are more expensive speakers out there. I know there are even better speakers out there. But for festivals and the concerts of the sizes I'm looking at, these are too good. These are versatile speakers, and of course you can use them in your medium to large size events indoors. But <laughs> listening to these speakers up close, they are wasted. It's just that they're capable of so much more. To get the best from these or the best experience from these, you need to listen to these about, at I guess I'd say 80 feet away, and that's minimum, and that's outdoors. Long distances, this is where they really perform because the way these can catapult sound, wow. Only a few speakers have amazed me. I mean, really amazed me. And this is one of them. I will definitely demo these when I have a little more time. I've also purchased some other new speakers that you just might be interested in. So stay tuned and hopefully it won't be too long before I can upload a demo on these and reveal the other speakers. Going off on a tangent a little, while I was at the store, I listened to the RCF combo, the 515 and 808. Hmm. I take it you know how much that costs. Now, RCF in the past have knocked me totally off balance with the performance of some of their speakers. I know they refer to those as size to power ratio and little boxes with superpowers I can't see beyond little boxes for super money. Mobile DJs. Get the J-Mix 8. I'll let you know how I get on. Thank you for watching.